I think the question that probably everybody wants to ask is, do you think they'll ever get back together? It is a question they have to get asked mm -hmm. the whole time. I don't think in it, not in the foreseeable future, James, do you know what I mean? Maybe in years to come, maybe, but I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad blood between them at the moment, you know what I mean? Do you think it would, they would ever be as big? I think it would be, it would be big, do you know what I mean? You know, that's not, under, it's just, you know, try and get to the end of the gig without killing each other, do you know uh -huh. what I mean? But they're, they're, you know, if they did it, they'd still be good, I think, do you know what I mean? Because you've got the social media, you've got the online platform, yeah. they never had that in the 90s. No, And you look at how many albums they sold no, worldwide. Well, yeah, I mean, they were like, they, they went viral before you could go viral, do you know what mm. I mean? You know, literally, that just exploded. Do you know what I mean? It took everybody by surprise. When about, because I signed them May 93, and, and but it actually didn't get them signed to about that, that October. It took me about five months to get them signed, but it's like, and then they, they did Nebworth August 96. So that was a really fast, they did Scotland, they did, they did Loch Lomond, do you know what I mean? You know, it was like a really, they love Scotland. What's that? They love Scotland. Yeah, no, it's like, it was a really fast, um, it was a really, really fast, you know, ascension. Yeah, because when you look at the two of them, the two of them are they're both legends. They are. They're, yeah, yeah. They're again one of the biggest bands ever. Yeah, yeah. When you signed them, did you realise when you first watched them? Did you think to yourself, they're going to be massive? They're going to be no. I think the absolute opposite. I thought they're probably good for an album, and they <laughs> and, 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 and good for an album. If I get out before the Stone Roses second album i might nick some of that audience but i never thought it was a career band i was just putting it out i thought it's a good band it's it's quite stone roses you know because it's it's, it's seen four songs bang it out and see what happens and it fucking exploded who was the worst one to deal with noel or liam um the one, I, 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 this is the real truth I, I never had really bad experience with the gallagher's at all liam was always nice and and noel was a gen do you know what i mean do you know what I mean? You know, I've had more run-ins with them post than during that. Do you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> because that's when you were at. Yeah, how did when you signed them? You were you still on the drugs at that point in '93? I was. Uh, I partied a few times with ACC. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. That must have lasted a good few months at a time. No, it, it, it was like when I signed in May '93. I got sober February '94, but I had a few good nights with them. 